Allez, ouvrons le dossier Red Rabbit de Mark Bowles dans, en direct dans quelques minutes. 213 Rock, Vinyl Times, Your Classic Rock Radio. 213 Rock, with Hair and Melodica, on Vinyl Times Classic Rock Radio. to heaven it's time to welcome those who deserve it a life with lots of love to share but almost nothing to receive why should it end like this with no hope of changing it dropping tears on the ground crying for mercy and justice for a life sacrificed at the price of hate Life's not fair Why aren't people fair? Eyes full of joy Such innocence Oh, if you're enough To live with them A desire to just live love Not interrupted by the world Who knows if in heaven Things could be Classic Rock Radio en direct ce soir, Mr. Mark Bowles of Red Ravine. Hi, Mark. Nice to meet you. Hey. Hey. Nice to see you. How are you doing, man? Yes. I'm very happy for talking to you on air once again tonight on Vinyl Times, the Classic Rock Radio, Mark. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad to be here. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me. Yes, of course, en direct ce soir, donc, Mr. Mark Bowles, qui vient donc présenter effectivement hein, son nouveau groupe qui s'intitule Red Ravine. Il y a déjà quatre singles disponibles sur les Digitone platforms. So, Mark, as you know, the name of the show is 213 Rock, hosted by Vinyl Times Classic Rock Radio. Tonight, uh, you are in uh, Paris, France. Thank you very much for accepting once again my live invitation, Mark. Uh, thanks. Well, I, I wish I was there physically. Paris is my favorite city in the world. So <laughs> I'm in Las Vegas. So I'm in Las Vegas. It's far, far away, but uh, I will be there again soon. Okay. I love coming to Paris. Ouais, effectivement que sa ville c'est Paris c'est euh, c'est sa ville préférée il est du côté de Las Vegas ce soir donc pour faire l'interview so Mark last time you were um, on live with me hein, the day before the Circus of Rock shows in Finland uh, with Mr. Mirka Rantanen and uh, Svetlana Bisnakova alias Sevi and uh, Rick Altizi what do you remember from the shows uh, of Finland uh, one of the best times ever uh, it was my first time in Finland for one thing But for another thing, it was my first time working with Mirka, who's a really great person and a fantastic drum uh, musician. And uh, Rick Alsi, also a great singer, uh, 
great friend. We, we've all become really good friends now. It was a really good time with really good people. Uh, uh, Mirka really picked out a good lineup for that project. And uh, I hope we do more with that too, because uh, it was really a lot of fun. Effectivement qu'il a eu du bon temps la fois dernière, vous en souvenez très certainement, c'était la veille des Circus of Rock, nous avions eu tous les protagonistes, effectivement artistes qui étaient venus donc euh, autour du line-up de Mirka du Circus of Rock, et puis on avait eu quatre artistes, à savoir Svetlana, on avait eu Rick Altzi, Mirka, et puis Mark Ball ce soir-là, nous, enfin la veille, ils étaient en rehearsal, c'est-à-dire en, ils étaient en mode répète avant le show, et puis ils avaient donné quelques minutes pour une live interview en direct hein, au sein de Vinitabs Classic Rock Radio 213 Rock, c'était un grand moment. So Mark, Red Ravine is your new band and the lineup is the guitar player and Mr. Guillaume Costa. Your best player mm-hmm. is Ed Witzke van der Fingers yeah. and the drummer yeah. of course Mir Carantanen. This is uh, the rock family. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a good lineup and uh, for the kind of music we're doing we're regularly kicking ass. Uh, just finishing up the last few songs for the album actually and uh, they're coming out great. Effectivement que c'est une famille de rock, hein, son, son nouveau line-up, et fait, oui ça, ça déchire en tout cas, puis il y a des bons titres en tout cas qui sont en train de préparer, et c'est ça l'important. At this moment, there is four tracks available on digital platform, hein. Wising Star, She Makes It mm-hmm. Hard, Lay It Down The Line, and um, the cover version of uh, Born To Be Well, of uh, Steppenwolf, right. yeah, pretty good tracks on, the, yeah. on digital platforms. Yeah, there's my, more and even better to come. The uh, the the last uh, songs that I'm working on now are even better songs than those, even though those are very good. Mm-hmm. Effectivement, il est en train de travailler sur des nouveaux titres et qui seront encore nettement meilleurs. And uh, Mark, with your band Red Ravine, you play more 70s, 80s hard rock music, huh? because on the on the four tracks at, available at this moment on digital platforms, the the instruments the, uh, are very well mixed in the production because it's big rock, big hard rock. Yeah, yeah, we're we're kind of a throwback to the hair metal days, you know, back in the good old days of classic rock, uh, you know, because I think a lot of people would love to hear some new music in that style. So that's what we're doing. And we love to do it. So... Uh It's a win-win for everybody. Effectivement que c'est un deal gagnant-gagnant pour tout le monde. Hein. Ils aiment revenir à, ces, à cette période glam hair metal, effectivement, avec tout, ces, ces, euh, tout ce look, tout ces, tous ces instruments super bien mixés au sein des bons titres, en tout cas, à proposer. And your guitar player, uh, Mr. Guillaume Costa, plays very freely with you because there are some um, big riffs and some great solos with a lot of dexterity and harmony. He's tied close to Warren De Martini and Randy Rhodes. Hein. Yeah, I think he's influenced by those guys a lot. Um, he's he's a young guy, you know, but he's got an old soul. I, I, he's he's got those old uh, classic uh, kind of feel to his playing that uh, you know we need for this kind of music, and he fits he fits the songs perfectly and. Uh, It's really fun to work with him. Mm-hmm. Effectivement que c'est un plaisir de travailler avec Guillaume Costa, super guitariste en tout cas, dans la veine des Warren de Martini et Warren D. Rhodes, avec de bons riffs, une bonne dextérité et de bonnes harmonies en tout cas au sein de ses titres. And uh, behind, of course, Mirka and Ed are great. Mirka, I'm really happy with Mirka as a drummer. He's, uh, you know, because uh, I've been doing music for many, many years yeah. and uh, I don't need to have musicians that need to prove how good they are or what they can do. I just need them to uh, play the right parts for the song that 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 are tasty and and laid back and comfortable and feel good. You know, I want I want songs that feel good to play and to hear, you know, makes people feel good, makes us feel good. Uh, I don't want to hear somebody playing every note that they ever learned to try to prove that they're faster or better or anything like that because that's not what this band is about this band is just about making feel good rock and roll songs effectivement qu'il a besoin d'artistes qui jouent bien qui jouent correctement qui jouent les parts demandées et pas besoin d'en rajouter pas besoin d'aller à 2000 à l'heure c'est pas son truc lui ce qu'il veut c'est que tout le monde soit heureux et que ça joue parfaitement enfin au niveau des partitions il veut juste la régularité quoi vraiment et puis être cool en tout cas c'est ça l'esprit en tout cas de son groupe Red Ravine hein. c'est cool en tout cas and uh, the four tracks I uh, said uh, the four tracks are recorded sound live because During your recording sessions, uh, you managed to capture some real sound, some natural sound, and some human sound. Yes, well, that's what we need. Uh, you know, we have to capture that vibe from the 80s, that 80s vibe. That's what we're looking for. Mm-hmm. Effectivement, qu'il essaie de capturer le, le 80s vibe, le son des années 80. C'est ça, là, vraiment, c'est ce côté vibe, quoi. And the track Rising Star is a good combination between Deep Purple and Rainbow. Oh, you think so? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't even think of it that way, but maybe you're right. 
<rire> yeah, maybe you too. <rire> Effectivement, que le titre Rising Star qu'on s'est écouté en intro, c'est une bonne combinaison entre Deep Purple et Rainbow. C'est un bon titre en tout cas. And the track she makes it hard is very heavy because your voice is literally um, melancholy with a touch of nostalgia in the way of Dark and like uh, Under Lock and Key album. Yeah, well, you know, Dokken is, I've always been a big fan of Dokken and I've, I actually played in Dokken for a while mm -hmm. and I've actually sang backgrounds on the last two Dokken albums. So Don is a really good friend of mine and he'll always be an influence uh, as, a, as a great songwriter and, and uh, you know, a legend of the 80s. Mm -hmm. Effectivement que Don Dokken hein, C'est un de ses amis C'est aussi un de ses influences Il a même joué avec lui sur, dans, dans des sessions acoustiques En tout cas Et puis euh, Ouais Il y a une bonne vibe Il y a une petite touche mélancolie Sur le titre She Makes It Hard Qu'on aura en sortie d'interview Avec ce côté nostalgique Des années 80 Et euh, Ouais c'est cool en tout cas Et puis c'est un très bon ami à Don Dokken Ça c'est cool Lay it on the line uh, The track right. Yeah Lay it on the line The track is on my 213 Rock Show playlist right now Yes, since last week. Great. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, it's a very cool track. Very cool track. Thank yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And I think this track would have been on MTV all day, huh? six times, I think, in days of rotation during the 80s. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would have been great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's too bad that MTV is not the same anymore, but, uh, you know, there's other outlets now. Effectivement que ce titre euh, Lay It On The Line qui est en playlist à 213 Rock ainsi que Vinny Times Classic Rock Radio aurait pu faire partie des, des, des titres en rotation sur MTV il y a quelques temps de cela en tout cas aujourd'hui effectivement ça a bien disparu tout ça mais la vibe elle est là et certains artistes certains groupes essayent encore de faire revivre euh, ce style de musique So at this moment is the band working on the, 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 the debut album? Uh, yes it's, it's just in the finishing stages right now it's just getting ready to go to mix I've just finished the final touches on the last couple of songs. So there's a... Uh Uh, six more songs coming. Oh, six more songs coming. Effectivement, que le groupe est en train yes. de travailler. Et donc, il y a six nouveaux, ta six nouveaux titres qui vont arriver. Plus, the four track available on the, right. uh, on the, on the old platform digital will be at the end on the final track list of uh, debut album. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Uh, uh, okay. Donc, il y a six titres qui vont arriver. Uh, do you know when it will be, uh, the, the first album will be out? Maybe summertime. Okay. Okay. Il espère pour l'été. With a label behind you? Yes, uh, yes, I can't talk about it right okay. now, but there will be a label. Yes, we are going to have a label. Yes. Oh, okay, effectivement, il y aura un label derrière eux, donc il espère en tout cas pour cet été. And are you working with the producer too? Uh, no, I'm producing myself. Okay. <laughs> Ok, donc alors, oui, yeah. alors, autre bon, euh, bon sujet aussi, c'est qu'il produit sa musique, donc il ne va pas utiliser quelqu'un de l'extérieur, de, de, de il va produire sa musique lui-même. So, Mark, just before the end, I hope that one day, finally, you will play in France once again. Yes, of course, I remember every time I'm in France, I love France. Uh -huh. I'm not just saying that, I really do. <laughs> ok, but we cross fingers for maybe one day you will come back in, in Paris and, uh, and, and maybe some other cities in France because we have some great venue too. Oh, I know, I know. Uh, when I, you know, when I toured a lot back in the Malmsteen days, uh, for some reason, uh, France did not like Malmsteen. So we didn't play, we played everywhere in Europe but France. Uh, <laughs> it, it always got cancelled or, or something happened, always. But, uh, but, Long, long time ago, I did a big tour with uh, Ted Nugent uh, and played all of a friend uh, with Judas Priest uh, uh -huh. together. Oh, you played so bass. I, I, you played bass at yeah, that time. Like, yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, Alors, oui, effectivement. So I Alors, a lot of places to play in France. I know that. Yeah. Okay. Ok, alors effectivement, pourquoi pas venir jouer en France Alors ça, pour lui, ça a toujours été un problème parce qu'à l'époque de Malmsteen, de, de trilogie, euh, c'était bouqué, ça a été annulé au dernier moment. Il y a toujours un problème en fait avec la France. Ça, c'est toujours annulé à la dernière minute. Il y a toujours quelque chose. Bon, et effectivement, dans son parcours de d'artiste, il a eu toujours eu confronté à ces problèmes-là pour venir en France. Alors que partout en Europe, ça, ça, ça il, a, il a fait, il a parcouru l'Europe euh, dans son intégralité. Il a toujours réussi à jouer. Donc en tout cas, il désespère pas et il aimerait effectivement qui viendra et puis bon à noter aussi que l'album viendra donc pour cet été avec un nouveau deal et que finalement il viendra peut-être jouer effectivement à Paris et de voir d'autres villes en tout cas so Mark thank you very much for this live interview do you have a message for the audience tonight please uh, no just uh, stay well stay safe and keep rocking ok Mark Balls en direct tonight voici le single She Makes It Hard on 213 Rock Vinny Times Classic Rock Radio thank you Mark. yeah <laughs> Long legs and high heels and burgundy lips 
Yeah, 213 Rock, Mini Times, le classic Rock Radio, Mark Balls en direct tonight, Red Ravine.